Good morning, you guys. What is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Danielle. We're doing another week in my life in New York City. Today's Monday. I got breakfast with my friend Mads this morning, and now I'm headed over to the Gals in the Go office to record an episode of Gals in the Go. It's going to be a really fun one. And then after that, I'm recording for my friend Katie, Adam, and Colby's podcast called Match Made in Manhattan. And then tonight, I'm helping my friends move into their apartment and do a little like pizza on the floor situation. So fun day ahead. And today, I know a lot of people are off work today in remembrance of Martin Luther King and everything that he did in the past and things that have now come into the present and so much that he's done so I wanted to take a moment to acknowledge that so yeah I have got to head out I'm wearing this sweater again because it's so fun and I feel like it's very gals on the go I'm literally wearing actually the exact outfit I wore to the museum the other day if you watched my weekend in my life and I'm bringing this tote it's from have some fun today their Instagram is hsft underscore official on Instagram. They have so many different designs. I just love this. It's so great for carrying everything. Um, I'm just gonna pop on a jacket and then we're gonna go record. Jordan, who's our video editor, is gonna meet us there and help us set up the cameras because we've been having some technical difficulties and like some of the frame rates were different on each camera. So we're just figuring it all out today so we get the best possible video component for you guys. So go subscribe to Gals and Lego Podcast on YouTube if you wanna see the video version. That's why I'm all dressed up. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a fun day. It's gonna be a great week. Um, I'm gonna make it one. I've been kind of just like down in the dumps the last few days, just feeling like, I don't know. Just feeling, I don't know, the cold weather. I don't know, something just makes me feel very bleh. So I'm determined to make this week a good week and I'm excited to take you guys along. So subscribe if you guys are new here. Let's get to the day. The episode went fabulously. Brooke had a date, so I told her go ahead. I'm just uploading all the footage to my computer, like the audio and all three cameras. I'm gonna go for a silly little walk and walk to um, Chipotle and get myself some lunch and then come back here, finish uploading everything and eat and just relax a little, have some me time before my next podcast recording later. About to lock up for the day, head home. All the files are imported and sent to the producer and our editor. I'm about to head back home. So I've been home for like an hour. I've just been getting some work done on my computer. Oh, there's my other glove. Oh my gosh, that's actually huge news. About to walk over to Katie's apartment to record for Match Made in Manhattan. Of course, I'm like, I'm gonna walk. It's a nice long walk. I hope it's snowing out. I hope it's not rain. If it's snow, I'll do it. But um, that's why I'm all bundled up back in the jump, the sweatsuit from earlier. It's, or the sweat set's from Aritzia. Jacket is from the brand Sam. H&M. Hat, American Eagle. Let's go. It's snowing. At the humble abode. About to record for Madrid. I'm so excited. This is such awesome. a cute little setup. <laughs> Thanks, guys. New episode. It'll be up. Yeah, it'll be up by the time this video's up. So. Oh, oh my gosh. We're going quick. At their new apartment. This is so cute. This is like typical, like, just moved in. Their apartment is so cute, you guys. Can't wait to um, see how you guys decorate it. <laughs> Love it. West Village, baby. Woohoo! Back now, I threw my hair up. I, my hair, I literally washed it yesterday and it like already looks greasy. It's one of those weeks. It's so annoying, but. Mary Stephen Morgan, I can't look at myself, Mary Stephen and Morgan's apartment is so cute. I'm so excited. I like helped them out with like design ideas and like where things should go and I'm so excited for them. It's such an exciting thing to embark on. Um, uh, and recording with Katie and Adam was so much fun too. We talked about some great stuff, so go listen to Match Made, but I'm so excited because I just got my Sun Basket meals in the mail. I was inspired by Katie. This is not sponsored. She um, talked about how she was looking for a meal delivery service that was like super easy and really yummy hearty meals and i'm the same way i've been looking for that where i haven't actually been looking for it i didn't really think about it granted i got like a discount because it was my first time but i think it was like 34 dollars total for all five meals like what she does i think five meals like two like a lunch and a dinner each day like monday through friday so that's how many she or she gets 10 each week i think or maybe she does four days um, so I just got five total because 
I don't know if I'm going to be eating out to dinner this week or anything, but I always struggle with lunch in particular. And these are such great portions and everything. So I got roasted chicken breast with sun-dried tomato sauce, um, beef stroganoff, white chicken chili, and then this creamy linguine. They all look so good. Like this came with fresh spinach to put it in. These came with little tortilla chips to put on top. Um, they're all organic, fresh vegetables. Like these trays are compostable. They're really like trying to do the most and like not leave a huge footprint on the environment, which I think is really, really great. And I don't know, I'll let you guys know how this goes and how they actually taste, but this just might be a vibe for me. Not every week, but I'm interested. I also love HelloFresh and I like actually cooking, but this is nice to have. Um, but like all of these are best by like the end of this week. So I have to eat them this week, but they're fresh. That's why that's like a thing. They came in a refrigerated little box. So, yeah, I should probably tell you guys about that because I'm really excited. that's less cayenne oh my gosh good morning guys i woke up and decided i wanted to make a ginger shot i literally sprung out of bed i was like ginger shot time i did ginger lemon and cayenne i think i put too much cayenne i tried to scoop it up but i just i am scared so i'll take half of it just to be safe Feels great. Oh my god. It's not that bad though. Should I take the second half? Okay. Cheers! I didn't do that bad. I didn't do that bad. It was pretty good. I happen to have extra ingredients from when Ryan and I made juices this past weekend. Um, and I don't want this to go bad, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make it since I have the juicer out. Um, I'm just gonna leave the ginger extract in there because that'll taste good. Um, but yeah, I don't know how this will taste because I don't have any of the cucumber or celery anymore. So it's just gonna be kale, apple, and lemon. But I think that's gonna be tasty. <gasps> wow, love that for me. Okay, just cleaned up that mess. Let's see the grand reveal. That's good. I think I put too much lemon, but it's good. Headed to meet up with my friend Kelly. This is my outfit. Sweatsuit is also from Aritzia. It's an Aritzia sweatsuit week. Puffer, Aritzia, hat, Urban Outfitters, shoes, Air Force Ones, hoops, studs, bag, Chanel. It's a cozy, casual, cute vibe today. We're going to good thanks for breakfast. I'm so excited. Let's go. breakfast with Kelly it was ugh, we were fast friends it was just like I knew that her and I were so similar and that's why I was like we need to like go get breakfast because we've seen each other at events and stuff and always had these like deep conversations amidst like all this loud music <sighs> it was just one of those things it was just such a good conversation we both loved like oh my god I love you we're literally like audio messaging right now I think we're gonna hang out on Friday so always really fun and then on the way back I decided to stop by the grocery store and buy a ton of ginger root because I was talking to my dad about it and apparently you can store fresh ginger in your fridge for over a month and it doesn't go bad and this morning you guys saw I had a whole ginger root and it made like a shot and a half so I just bought a ton the lady at the grocery store was like what are you doing with all this ginger and I was like I'm making ginger shots and she's like oh my god it's so fun um, and it was literally $11 for well I should just show you guys what I got um, 
It was a very wellness grocery trip of me and I'm very proud of myself. It was just, it feels good to treat your body good. Like it just does. And starting the day off with a green juice, which I forgot, I didn't finish it all. So I'm gonna finish it now really just like fueled me and then i had the coffee might do that more it helped with the anxiousness too i don't know that's probably i'm just making that up but it did something for me first things first i said this in another vlog you know your life's kind of together when you buy yourself flowers when you're grocery shopping so i bought myself some tulips because they've been all over my tiktok feed so all of a sudden i want tulips i just got some white tulips so i'm gonna put those in a vase and then I got berries because I've been really into my granola parfaits in the morning for breakfast. I didn't have to buy any groceries because I have all my sun basket meals, which is clutch. I just have to buy breakfast stuff, really, and then, like, fruit and veg just snacks. So I bought more eggs. I got more of this granola update. I'm obsessed with this Purely Elizabeth granola. It really makes me excited to have my granola in the morning. So that makes sense. And then, guys, I got so much ginger, and it was only $11. So I'm really excited to see how many shots this equals to. <laughs> I'm crazy ginger lady. Um, but, I mean, each ginger shot's usually like four bucks. And then I just got one kombucha because they're so heavy to walk with, but I like to always have one in my fridge. I got more half and half because it's just the best way to drink coffee. And then um, I got chamomile tea because sometimes I want tea during the day and all I have is sleepy time tea. And then I got some more yogurt for my parfaits. And then one of my favorite snacks recently have been apples. So I got four of these um, Macintosh apples. They're my favorite. And that's the grocery haul. It was very fun, very good. I'm gonna put all this away. And then I bought this like big, it's almost like a salad dressing container that I'm gonna attempt, and like a funnel, that I'm gonna attempt to put my ginger shots in. So I'm gonna go downstairs and pick that up from the mailroom. And I think I'm just gonna try and do all this ginger shot stuff now and just get it in the fridge, have it, it's like meal prepping, but shot prepping, you know? But good shots. <laughs> all right, I just cut up the first thing of ginger root, gonna pop it in. Let's see how many ginger shots this much, 11 pounds of ginger root will make. And this is the thing I bought, I just washed it. Um, it's actually smaller than I thought. So we shall see. Okay, so I only did two um, pretty big ginger roots. Well, this one's this one's huge. I did like two of these size and got um, almost 300 milliliters. I forget how much this says it was, but I'm gonna try and pour this in now because I only want to make as much as I can fit in here. Okay, I my funnels aren't in the mail yet, so we're gonna be really careful. Oh my gosh, I think this might be perfect. Oh my gosh. I was like, Danielle, be steady. Wow, amazing. So I added lemon too, but look at this pure ginger shot moment. I think every time I prepare myself, prepare, every time I prepare myself a shot, I'm just gonna take a pinch of cayenne pepper like in my hand instead of sprinkle it on, um, on each shot instead of like letting it soak in here. So it's like fresh every time. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. And then I have this next time. I wonder how many shots this is like, I don't know. This is probably like three or four shots, but I am so excited and so proud of myself. All right, finally just finished cleaning up everything of the juicer. It's definitely a process, but so worth it. I haven't even tried my ginger shot yet because I've already taken one this morning and that's just like a lot of ginger, but maybe I'll try it later today. I just got some new pieces in from Revolve and they're very like practical, fun stuff. Not even really that fun. They're like sweaters and I don't know, stuff that I think you guys would appreciate me showing. So I'm gonna show you guys, do a little Revolve haul. I'll link everything down below. I'm just the biggest fan of Revolve recently. I mean, always, but especially recently, everything just ships so fast. Their return policy, they're the only people I want to return to. I hate doing returns, but they make it so easy they give you your shipping label it's free shipping free returns like i love it i love it so i'm gonna show you guys everything i got it's good for winter oh hello sun first things first is actually something you guys have been asking me about i got a second pair of these splits 59 high waist air weight flare raquel leggings i'm a size medium for reference these are the flare leggings that i wear um, some people might call them yoga pants, but to me yoga pants are like those Victoria's Secret pink 
like ones with the waistbands back in the day. I need to step out of the sun one moment. So I will link these down below. These are the best. They are so flattering and so great to wear with like your little mini Uggs and a little pullover, whatever you want. I just love them. And they just have one little logo in the back. You can't even really see it. It's just S59. These are the best. And I just needed another pair because I just kept washing the first pair. Um, next piece, I'm so excited to just literally wear this every day. It's a great layering piece or on its own. Um, it's this North Face pullover. It's like a little quarter zip situation. It's thick boy, which I like. And then it also has these little elbow pads, but I like how it's cropped. I honestly see myself wearing this with those flare leggings and just some sneakers and a tight bun. Call it a day, it's cute, but also really comfortable. And I just know this is gonna keep me super warm. I got it in a size small and it's like a, a Sherpa material. Next up, something else really comfy. This is from the brand Citizens of Humanity. It's this little button up Henley. I think I got, I got a size medium in the color oatmeal. I just thought this was so cute and perfect again with like leggings i'm just trying to be comfortable yet warm um i think this will look really nice with like some necklaces just like casual yet cute and it's super warm i just see this with leggings and like some high socks i see this for me i'm sorry the lighting sucks sorry the lighting's changed a thousand times i just figured it out i just had to put my blinds down um i've had this sweatshirt in my cart and then i keep taking it out but i it just feels weird because it's like a pretty expensive black hoodie but it's an all saints hoodie it's just black i actually don't have a black hoodie at the moment but on the back it's just got a very subtle all saints moment it reminds me of spirit jerseys if you guys used to wear spirit jerseys it was like a sorority thing or like a town you visited you would buy like it would say like washington dc that's one i had <laughs> So yeah, I just got this hoodie. I thought it would be great to wear like a trench over top because Ryan loves his black hoodie and I was jealous. So um, I'm excited. I hope it doesn't like pill easily or get lint on it all the time, but love this sweater. I might wear it tonight. Ryan asked me on like a little date. <laughs> Do you guys watch um, Shit's Creek? Like Alexis, he just asked me on like a little date. <laughs> so I might wear this tonight. It's just this like fun sweater blouse situation. It's got little puffy sleeves and then the back is an open back and you tie it, see it's open, and you tie it. I thought this would look so cute with jeans and some pointed booties. Very elegant, but also keeps you warm. Oh, and the sleeves have a little ruffle as well. On the sweater trend, I got this green sweater in a size small, I believe, from House of Harlow. Love this green color, I thought this would be great with a tan trench or like a tan coat over top is what I'm trying to say. Um, but I could just layer this so many different ways. It's just like a green, ribbed turtleneck situation. I think this is my favorite thing that I got in this package. This sweater! It's so happy! And I just know it's gonna be so warm. This rainbow striped sweater. I'm obsessed. Again, everything will be linked below. I got it in a size small for reference and it's cropped, I believe it seems. Um, I just can't wait to wear this and hopefully put a smile on someone's face because I love it And then the last sweater I got is this top from BB Dakota um, Also in a size small. It's just like a red color This is perfect for Georgia fans as well for game day even though they're they're over now But um, I just love a red top. It's so powerful These little sleeves and a little cutout so flattering It's not a bodysuit, so we'll see hopefully it tucks in well, but from the brand Aster, A-S-T-R. This is also a size small. I'm trying to get better about telling you guys my sizes. Um, this is a sweater dress. I love it. Sorry, I'm not doing try on. I just, am, I don't feel like doing it. Sorry, I'm lazy. Um, but follow me on Instagram at Danielle Carolyn and just keep watching the vlogs because you guys will see these on me within the next few weeks, I guarantee you. This is just like a cutout moment. Like it's just like a crisscross cutout moment and then it's like a midi. I really find Mini dresses to be very flattering on me. I like how I feel on them, and this is good. Maybe I could also wear this tonight. I don't really know. And then lastly, I got another scarf from Rag and Bone. I have this one in gray, I've shown in vlogs, and a lot of you guys have asked for the link, so I will link this down below, and I had to get another color because I love the gray one so much, and I wanted a brown scarf, so. That's that, that's everything I got from Revolve. I just thought I'd share with you guys while I was unboxing. And I will have everything linked below. Now I think I'm gonna shower. I'm wearing a hat because my hair has just been getting greasy so fast. I literally washed my hair Sunday morning and it's Tuesday. I don't know, maybe I've just used extra oils or something. I don't know, it's whatever it is. But I'm gonna take the shower, you know, where you just like 
bathe yourself and your hair and everything in between and then I really need to sit on my computer and respond to some emails in today's the shower I have been using these pros products and this is not sponsored they are a sponsor on the podcast but I don't have to talk about this in my vlog and I just love it I've already used this shampoo I literally filled out this whole questionnaire talked about the exact problems I have with my hair and they created a whole formula for me. So this is the shampoo and then they, it like changes. Like I remember, I think Brooke, they gave her like a curl cream and like a conditioner, I can't remember. But for me, they wanted me to have a shampoo and then a pre-shampoo mask. This is what I'm so excited to use. I've used it once already and I've actually seen a difference. It's like a scalp root refresh because I've been having super flaky scalp, just FYI, TMI. Um, and I think it's just because of like product buildup and dry scalp. So I use this on my hair like in the shower. I don't like put it on beforehand, like scrub, scrub my scalp. Then I use this. And then for conditioner today, I'm gonna do the Crown Affair. Cause I really like their products. So I'm gonna use the Crown Affair conditioner. And then body wash, I'm feeling some necessaire eucalyptus. And I'm also trying out this Bosha purifying cleansing gel. And then of course my Billy Razor Queen. And oh, and always my European Wax Center body polish. Cause we love that, so. See you guys in a bit. Feeling refreshed, wow. I just bought more of these um, Tinkle, I think they're, yeah, they're called Tinkle um, eyebrow razors. And I actually, like, I have purchased many other brands because like I'll go to the drugstore and they don't have this brand, but I bought these on Amazon and they just work the best. I just like shaved a little hair around my brows. I try not to get too close because when I was younger, oh my gosh, you guys. I'm gonna attach a photo here, a photo of me. I literally don't know why my mom let me out of the house, but I discovered eyebrow razors at a very young age and I literally had half a brow. Thank God they grew back, but I mean, it was so bad. But, so yeah, I go very carefully around and then I actually just got all the peach fuzz off my face and it just feels so good. It allows makeup to apply better and um, it's just so smooth and it's just nice. So I try to do that more and more. So, um, and then I just put on a crap ton of Sunday Riley CEO Glow and then over top of that, Tatcha Water Cream. And I just also from Revolve, I forgot to show you guys because I had it in my bathroom. This is the Skin Gym like face sculptor. This thing, I will also link this down below. I mean, this gets to work. Like talk about like, I mean, dang, like it is intense. So I make sure to like bring it down to my neck because you're draining a lot of lymphatics or lymph nodes. I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. But um, yeah, so that's what I did. And then I just tried out this Bite Beauty Agave Lip Butter Balm in Nectar. It's just like a clear color. So yeah, thought I'd fill you guys in. I'm just drinking some kombucha and I'm going to sit at my computer and respond to a ton of emails, get a video up do a thumbnail, all that fun stuff um, while my hair air dries. So I realized I haven't worn eye patches today. That's not okay. So I put some on now. These are the chlorine eye patches. I think I talked about them earlier in this vlog, but I will link them down below. They're so cool and they feel amazing. Um, and this robe was gifted to me by a brand by Bare Minerals. So I don't really know where you can find it, but it is so lovely. I have crossed out so many things and I keep adding to this list on my doing well daily. This planner I designed, also linked below. <laughs> Uh, this is not a vlog. This is just things I'm doing every day. So I'm going to turn to the next page. Let's see what today's phrase is. Keep watering yourself. You're growing. Love. Love, love, love. So I'm going to fill this out and just transfer anything on this side that I haven't done yet to this to-do list. I know. <laughs> and I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Oh, and also this Sage Wellness Stress Release. Whew, this has been my new baby. I love this stuff whenever I get stressed I'll roll a little under it has of course it doesn't say it on here. It's giving eucalyptus, but also lavender it Smells amazing. They have a lot of these stores actually sage wellness s a j e and then on the other side so one side it's a um, roller so you can like put it on and then this side is like the oil so you can drop it. And then sometimes if I'm feeling overwhelmed and I'm about to have my mask on, I will actually take some drops and put it in my mask. And I actually showed my friend this the other day and then you're sitting there and you're just inhaling this amazingness. So put some on your mask and it smells good because sometimes masks and like smell funky. So 
yeah, that's my little wellness tip of the day. Okay, for lunch today, I'm gonna try this sun basket meal, white chicken chili with corn, green beans, and chilies. I'm so excited, it's my first one I'm trying. It says peel back a corner of the plastic and cook in the tray four to five minutes. And then I'll add the tortilla chips, that's easy enough. All right, it's done. I just put it in the microwave for four minutes. It looks and smells delicious. Updates to come. I'm reviewing tomorrow's video. Lit a candle. Have like spa music playing. Pfft. Okay, update. That was delicious. I'm literally just swallowing my last bite. It was so good. A little spicy. I think it was just that meal in particular. Um, but it was good. It was really delicious. So that's good. One out of five meals were amazing. This might be the start of something new. And I'm also getting HelloFresh tomorrow. <laughs> I'm obsessed, okay? Okay, I'm ready for my date. Um, my hair is all fresh. I decided to just kind of like style it a little bit straighter. I just didn't have time to like curl it or whatever. Um, but yeah, it was so sweet. Earlier today when I was at breakfast with Kelly, he texted me and said, Cacio e vino tonight at eight question mark. And I was like, <laughs> yes, I love that. We love some plans. Um, so I'm about to meet him downstairs and we're gonna walk there. I'll show you guys my outfit really quick. So I'm wearing the dress that I got. Um, I really, really like it. It's a nice sweater material. It's so cute and I love just the two little cutouts. Very like easy, good for a weekend night or a weeknight because um, it's like this sweater material. So in person, it's definitely more casual. Don't kill me. I don't even want to show you guys what shoes I'm wearing because he told me we're walking and it's like a 15 minute walk and the shoes I was gonna wear are heels and that's just not it. So. I know, we're wearing the sneakers, just don't kill me, okay, okay. Now we need to get a little bit warmer though. So I'm thinking to add, the, I mean this is just for warmth, but this aloe coat over top, because it's basically a blanket and it'll keep me super warm. And then for added warmth, I'll wear the earmuffs. I don't know, maybe that's too much. Hello? Hey. I'm in the lobby. Where are you? I'm on my way. I kept the same beanie. Okay. <laughs> Bye. See ya. Let's go. I don't know. I think the earmuffs are too much. Hopefully this is enough. Am I going to die? Maybe I should bring a scarf. I'm going to bring a scarf. Okay, I added this Gucci scarf for warmth. <laughs> we'll see. My legs are out. This is really random, but we're walking, so I have to be comfortable. Okay, let's go. Actually, he's waiting on me. Well, I guess it's afternoon now. Um, I just got back from getting my nails done. Went to Mickey Nail Co. She's incredible. We did these heart nails for Valentine's Day. It's funny because my next appointment is like a couple days before Valentine's Day, but I think I'd rather, like once Valentine's Day is over, I might be done with it. So I'm really just loving these nails. They're so happy. But yeah, I just woke up and today is Wednesday, so big day. We post a Gals in the Go podcast. I post my own personal YouTube channel video. So it's big day, so I was just doing a lot of promo for that. And then I headed over to get my nails done, but this is my outfit that I wore today. It was very, very comfy, um, or I'm gonna wear it the rest of the day as well. This is what I got from Revolve yesterday and the leggings also, and then I'm wearing these fake mini Ugg boots. So, and they're from Amazon. I will also link those down below. It's almost one o'clock. I'm ready for lunch. By the way, I tried my first ginger shot this morning that I made and it was pretty good. I think I put too much lemon, so. But it was good and it, that feels great moment for sure. Um, I'm hungry. I wanna have one of my sun basket meals because they're so good. Um, not feeling spaghetti at the moment. I think I want, hmm. Actually, yeah, I kind of, well, I don't want spaghetti. I want this linguine, linguine, creamy linguine with peas and pancetta. And then it also came with spinach to put in. So I'll have to figure out when they want me to put the spinach in. Um, it doesn't say. So I guess, I, I don't know. Do I put the spinach in before or after? We'll find out. 
Okay, update, I read the instructions a little bit more thorough. They said to rinse the spinach and then mix it in after you microwave it, which does make sense, so I'm gonna do that. Look at this fabulousness. Yummers. All right, I'm gonna eat this and do some emails. Hi guys, so it's like an hour later. I just got so much done, I'm so happy, and I'm so glad that you guys are liking my videos recently. I feel like I've just slowed down a lot in 2022, which I guess one of my word, my word of the year is wellness, but I'm noticing that in my vlogs, and I think it's really, really good for me. Um, so I'm glad you guys are enjoying the change of pace a little bit. Um, that's not to say it won't change again, but right now I'm in a chill vibe. So, I am so excited. I'm about to hop on to therapy. Um, and I'm gonna start doing it, like, I think every two weeks, or maybe every week, I don't know. Um, I kind of fluctuate how often I go, and I haven't gone to her in like a month, and it is so crazy. Like, they, you know, they always say it's good to go to therapy before there's like all these problems because it's good to you know vent to someone to talk to someone to just hear yourself out loud and obviously hear what their advice is too and i think this is like such a good decision for me to kind of get back into therapy more regularly right now just with the anxiety i've been dealing with recently and everything i kind of have opened up to you guys about like heart palpitations when i'm nervous and it really freaks me out and i really want to get back into working out and that's been kind of hindering it for me um so that's probably a big thing I'm going to talk to her about today and just kind of work through it. And then after, actually, I've talked to you guys a little bit about how I wanted to get back into dance this year. That was one of my goals for 2022. That's in our Gals on the Go episode um, 2022, Let's Do This. But I feel like that's a good gateway for me to start working out because it's like cardio, it's fun. Um, so I'm headed to a class at Broadway Dance Center actually right after therapy uh, with my friend Gabby. Um, she also has a YouTube channel and she's a content creator. She's amazing. Her name's Gabby Whiten and I love her. So I'm excited. She said she wanted to go to a hip hop class next time I'm going. So I texted her and we found a class to go to. So I'm excited um, and I'm just really excited of therapy. She does not know what she is in for. Um, but that's what therapists are there for and you don't feel guilty because you're literally paying them and I'm so grateful that I have the funds to be able to go to therapy um, I will say BetterHelp is amazing they don't sponsor my YouTube channel but they are freaking amazing and they make it so accessible and they're cheaper than traditional offline therapy so that's my little spiel I'm gonna have therapy I can't wait see you guys after all right, therapy's done. Feeling like there's a load off my chest for sure, and she gave me homework too, so I'm really thankful I had that today with her, and we already scheduled our next appointment, so that's good. Um, headed to hip hop, I'm so excited. I've been wanting to go to Broadway Dance Center, so I'm pumped. I'm wearing this um, Skims crop top, the most flattering thing ever. We'll link it below. I got it in a couple different colors. I have a sports bra underneath from Lululemon. Sweatpants are American Eagle, and then I really like dancing in Converse because they have some good ankle support. So let's head to Broadway Dance Center, baby. I'm, I'm nervous. Hey. We just did it. I'm proud of us. Yeah, it was fun. It was really fun. I'd come back here for sure. A good time. Go us. We did something active today. Yeah, I, I know. Yay. <laughs> You guys, that was so much fun. I just got home. I'm definitely going back to Broadway Dance Center. It was so fun. I went to Aunt Boogie's class and I went to a beginner class, which I'm so happy because the last one I went to was intermediate and like I've literally danced my whole life but haven't danced in like truly in like three years and you kind of just lose it, I feel like. So it was really fun and it was fun to have Gabby there too and we could just like support each other. And it was really fun. I wanted to start getting more regular. In the beginning of the class, though, he had us doing like jumping jack, and I was like, "Get it down, stay calm." But it was so good. It was really good. Working out is good for you, Danielle. I'm talking to myself, but um, I'm really glad it went. It was really fun. It's a hike though, because it's like all the way up by Times Square, but it was worth it. So Delaney and I, who was my old roommate in college, but also like still one of my best friends, we scheduled a Facetime date tonight because. 
we haven't like chat on the phone forever and unfortunate and unfortunately we had to like schedule it um for dinner tonight i think i'm gonna have one of these sun basket meals i'm feeling the beef stroganoff over egg noodles i thought i was getting my hello fresh today but apparently it's coming tomorrow because i was gonna make one of those types that's fine this is quicker <laughs> um so i'm gonna make sun basket eat it tidy up my apartment is not dirty but it is messy so um yeah but i'm gonna make, make this beef strong enough i assume it's also four to five minutes i could really get used to this yep four to five minutes listening to a podcast and yeah i'm just in such a good mood i forget like the mood you were in after you like do something active it's incredible so i hope this inspires you guys got my beef stroganoff some water i am cultivating the vibes because delaney was like okay just give me 15 minutes i'm gonna like cultivate the vibe in my room for the face i was like oh my god i don't know what that means so i tried to cultivate the vibe hey <laughs> it's a lot later i actually meant to put delaney in the vlog but we were just talking we talked for like an hour and a half and then I FaceTime with my dad for 45 minutes which is really nice because we we text a lot throughout the day not a lot a lot but like we keep in touch every day but we haven't had like a one-on-one -on -one, let's like talk about life and it was really nice so gotta love that and then I just talked to Ryan a little bit on the phone my skin is like dry the cold makes it dry um it's 10 30 but I'm like sleepy and I guess that's a normal bedtime for a lot of people but I feel like I've been going to bed on the later side. Like, not lately, but, you know, around, like, midnight. Like, I'm in bed. Like, I'm in bed at midnight. Um, But I'm just going to start getting ready for bed now. Oh, I need a shower. I'm still in, like, my dance clothes. I smell bad, probably. Um, Thank you to everyone who told me I need to ask my maintenance man to help me with my heat. He literally came no problem. But then again, today, it's stuck at 70. And typically, during the summer and any other time of the year, I like my temperature to be 70. Cool. Like I, I had to put this on, which is not good, and I'm paying enough money in this apartment building to have heat working, so I think we need to have like the company of this unit thing to come, I don't know, like I don't think he's going to be able to like do it, so it's going to be a whole thing, but I just thought I'd update you guys and thank you for all giving me the confidence. It's like getting, it's like I just hate asking people for help. I get nervous too, but I know I should and I did and I will in the future because I deserve that and I pay money to live here that is a part of it so that's that but that's why I'm wearing this Sherpa coat oh my god it's ridiculous um it's so funny I usually sleep with like locking up the door I usually sleep with like a t-shirt and no pants and I've been like sleeping I don't, I'm not like freezing I'm not like my teeth are not chattering that would be very concerning and I like my apartment my apartment's usually this cold in the summer but again it just feels colder in the winter or something I don't know if anyone can explain that but that's what I'm dealing with so that's that I'm gonna head to bed we have a lovely day tomorrow we're going to the Brooklyn Museum to go to the Dior exhibit with my friend Ali Free and Brooke so very pumped for that so yeah, I'm gonna take a shower and get in bed. That's gonna be, I'm gonna read. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning, friends. We are headed over to the Vivrel showroom, which is a way you can like borrow designer bags um, every month. It's pretty great. So Brooke and I are heading over to the showroom to see them in person and borrow a bag for the month. Um, and then we're headed over to the Brooklyn Museum with our friend Allie to see the Dior exhibit. I'm so excited. So here's my outfit. It's snowing outside. Um, I don't, I, my outfit's really random. My top is from Revolve. I love it. I showed it earlier in this video. And then the pants are also from Revolve. Love them. And then I'm wearing Converse because comfort. And then I'm gonna wear over top my big black. Parka. So yeah, let's head downstairs. Let's go. Do you live? Are you from New York even? Do you have a big black So we're headed to the museum. This is the bag that I got from Vivrel. They had so many options. I've almost bought this bag so many times, but I don't know how often I would wear it, so that's why I didn't. So that's the beauty of Vivrel. 
So I picked up this Dior saddlebag. It's beautiful. I'm so excited to style it. And this is the bag Brooke got. Isn't it so cutie? It's I love so it. It's so cutie, perfect for winter. I've always want like a like a knit or like a tweed Chanel, but like I cannot bring myself to spend on that. So totally. it's nice like, to rent it. I know, yeah, cheers. Very winter vibes <laughs> for this bag. So I know, like, winter girlies, I love it. And it's snowing, headed to the museum. Yay, oh my God, Dior bag on the way to the Dior museum. Oh, wow. I didn't even think about that, love it. Big Dior girl. <laughs> Big Dior girl. <laughs> Hi everybody, we're back now. We went, I know I've been rocking this bun lately. <laughs> um, we went to the Dior exhibit, it was stunning. They played this like very dramatic in a good way music in the background. It just felt, it was a lot bigger than I thought too. We were there for, I don't know, 45 minutes, an hour and that's the only exhibit we saw there. Absolutely worth the trip. It's ending next month, so if you're in New York, go soon. It was only $25. Um, and I think it was worth the $25. The gift shop is actually really cute too. So that's always fun as well. A little gift shop moment after. And then we actually went to Dumbo House because Brooke's a member. So that was fun and got lunch there. And then I came back, I got a spray tan with glow to go, which was fun. And um, now since I have like a tan, I don't like to like six. I have like all white furniture. So I do this, little, my little standing desk moment. It's pretty great. I just made some chamomile tea. Got, I'm trying out my friend Nitz's planner. It's called the Mind Your Business one and it has kind of like mine, like a single day on each page, but I um, I just wanted to try something different and I do really like it. So I've got the longest to-do list. I'm just gonna get through it. I have a call in about an hour for something for the girls on the Go YouTube channel and just have a ton of emails to get to and everything in between. So that's the update. No plans tonight, but my HelloFresh just came so I might invite Ryan over to make a meal with me later. Could be fun. So I'm sitting here on my email and I was just getting all flustered and I realized I haven't taken a ginger shot today. A ginger shot has a ton of health benefits and I know that like by making a batch, you're supposed to like, you get the most benefits if you fresh press juice it or whatever, fresh, freshly juice it like right away. Um, but this is gonna last me a couple days and I'm fine with that. Um, but yeah, it's best to like make one shot and like immediately take it um, to get the best benefits But I mean that's just like a lot to like clean the juicer that many times, but I haven't taken a ginger shot yet today So this is so fun. I'm perfecting the perfect recipe. This one had oop, this one had too much lemon um, I mean, it's still good, but see everyone has different preferences like I like it to have some ginger taste to it But I'm also trying to find one that tastes good because I know most people don't want it to really taste like ginger. I just like it to have a little bit of a wah, like that feels great moment. So, and I'm just gonna sprinkle a little, little cayenne pepper on top because a little goes a long way and that definitely gives it the kick that we want. So, cheers to our health, baby. I know I look stunning right now. Woo. All right, cheers. That feels great. Oh, that's a, it's an extra spicy one with the cayenne. <laughs> All right, it's a lot later, got a lot done. My HelloFresh came in. I am so excited. This is not sponsored. We do work with them on the podcast though. I just love it. I have everything in my fridge right now. I did the meat package, but they have like a veggie one. You can do serves one person or four people, whatever you wanna do, or two people. Um, so I did for two people cuz Ryan, but I don't think he actually can come tonight So I think I'm just gonna make one for myself and then I've leftovers. So that's hype and he eats a lot. So this is clutch um, <laughs> I think so I got Monterey Jack unfried chicken sweet chili pork and cabbage stir-fry and then beef flada supreme 
I'm feeling this middle one. So yeah, I'm sure everything's in there, but I feel like it's gonna be pretty easy to make. They literally, it's just so easy. Like this is what you do. I'm sure I'm gonna have to boil water for the rice. So I'll have to get on that. And then you make the sauce. It's just so easy. So cook the meat. I'm excited, let's do it. I have clothes all over my apartment right now. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to plan some outfits for some things and then I have clothes I haven't put away. I'm so bad. Oh, I got these really cute shoes from Steve Madden. How fun. Um, but yeah, I need to clean my closet and hang things up even though I have no hangers. I just got this like little set of four candles from Jenny Kane because my friends Mary Stephen Morgan have her candle and it smells amazing and it lasts so long, burns so well. So I got a set of four and it has all four of their scents. So I'm burning this musk one. And then I also have a vetiver candle going. Um, oh, and I got some stuff over here. I guess we'll do a little haul, why not? So I got this black beanie from Revolve. I really like it. It's super simple, so it's not very loud. Cause the only um, black beanie I have has like a pom pom on top, which I love, but this is good for more chill. I think this is actually a cashmere beanie. I think it's very sleek, very cute. And then from Amazon, I got this one because I wanted to be a trendy material girl. Kidding, TikTok reference. Um, it was like $12 on Amazon and it's so cute. I might wear it tomorrow if it rains. Oh, well then that wouldn't be smart because this is soft, but I think it's a cute little winter hat. They had so many colors. I also have a checkered one, but I, I like this one. Sweet. And then I also got a Skims. I'm really into Skims right now. Um, I got a Skims slip dress to wear under things because I got these two dresses that I showed you guys on my bed That they are completely sheer and I have another dress that I've never been able to wear because it was sheer and I didn't know which is on Which is my bad, but My friend Elizabeth stylist check on Instagram. She was like you need the Skims Slip so you always are covered and then Skims came out with this like faux leather line which I'm obsessed with so Elizabeth picked this out for me. She was like, you need it. And I was like, I think I do. It's this bodysuit and then matching pants where you tuck it into. I love, I love this little vibe right here. And then they're like semi flare, straight leg, but a little bit flare. Um, I hope it looks good on, I'm really nervous, but I think this is such a moment. Love the cocoa color. And um, with like a blazer, some boots or some heels, love it, so. I didn't intend for this to be a haul, but I do have things lying around my apartment, so I figured I would show you guys. Okay, let's cook, I'm hungry. All right, we've got all the ingredients here. We got the ground pork, we've got, I just love it. I just love not having a grocery shop, as you guys can tell by the theme of this week. And they're just like, here, this is how much you need. So I'm boiling some water, I'm about to start cooking the meat. Well, let me see what it's telling me to do. <laughs> cook rice, make the sauce, cook pork. Okay, I, was, I wasn't, far off. Perfect. Catch in with you guys a little bit. Tada! What a beautiful meal. I just love how they give you like cilantro and they gave me these, um, what are these called? Like crispy fried onions to garnish it. And I just felt like a chef and this is something I definitely want to make on my own. So updates to come how it is i'm going to enjoy this to myself i'm so excited i'm gonna end the vlog here because the rest of the night i'm literally just gonna sit in front of my computer and put clothes away and that whole vibe um but i'm gonna end the vlog period tonight because i have a fun weekend ahead and i want to do like a full weekend in my life starting on friday because why not so the tan is definitely coming in I'm gonna shower it off tonight, do not worry. It won't be this intense, but it just shows up like that while you're developing. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this week of my life. I love you guys so much. I feel like I did some different fun new things in this vlog, so hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys very soon for my next video. Bye.